Well, thank you, the panelists, Mr. Malkin. Your uh, testimony is impressive. And I know commercial buildings have uh, dramatically increased their energy efficiency over the last several decades, but you bring a perspective on the cost benefit analysis. Very, very helpful. Dr. Greenstone, thanks for making the point on the need for R&D. Uh, if you could, I didn't find it in your testimony, but if you have any information comparing federal R&D uh, spending versus private sector R&D spending, especially in renewable side, I find a number of companies are doing research, you know, people are not even aware of that is creating, I think, some uh, hope for us moving forward. Any information you have along that line would be very helpful. And Dr. Ward, your point about uh, what happens with this drilling moratorium in the here and now, uh, clearly, uh, we have two rigs already announced to, uh, to uh, uh, Egypt and the Congo. Many more rigs are contemplating leaving and won't return anytime soon. Each rig with, takes with it at least 1,000 to 1,500 American jobs, mm -hmm. and then the vendors and suppliers who supply those rigs. Uh, and your point is, if I read it right, is that along with those rigs and jobs and equipment and our American businesses, that we end up, in fact, importing more oil on a, a more risky uh, a means of transmission than in the Gulf today, and that the Gulf also is sort of the uh, buffer to OPEC, that the amount of oil it produces keeps us from being held hostage to foreign countries that can drive up prices and really cripple our uh, U.S. economy. Can you go back to the point you made? What What is, how much less oil will we be producing, not counting natural gas, which is, again, I think the best bridge to an affordable green energy feature for America. It really is the backstop for, for wind and solar and other renewables, allows them to grow uh, and yet keep reliability. But what is, the, what is the production? How much less energy will we be producing in the United States if this very poorly thought of moratorium continues? If the uh, moratorium results in rigs leaving for two years, uh, the production in the Gulf of Mexico will decline by 450 million barrels a year. And that's what percent? That's about about 30 percent of the Gulf production. So we'll lose a third of our most critical portion of correct. oil development. Okay. And if it goes longer, it's how much? If it goes longer, it gets down to. Uh, the, the 450, I believe, goes up to about uh, of, over a billion barrels of oil in five years. So we lose, at that point, two-thirds of our right. production. Right. So you sat, you were invited by the Interior Department to, um, as peer review, their original drilling moratorium. Not, not to review, but to contribute to the report. And contribute to it. You made a number of safety <laughs> suggestions, but you and a number of others on that group did not support the drilling moratorium, saying it was would not make the Gulf safer, safer, and would have a dramatic economic impact. Can you? That's correct. Can you talk about that a moment? Yes, there were a number of uh, safety recommendations that made that dealt with principally procedures, uh, both on the standpoint of planning wells, executing wells, uh, the regulatory uh, environment that uh, could give more scrutiny to ongoing wells. Uh, I think it's pretty generally recognized that the uh, procedures and design of the BP well are not ones that are practiced by the wide majority of industry. And uh, I think the rarity of, of blowouts, as disastrous as they are, certainly belie that point. Coming, uh, from, coming from the university setting, um, as an academic, one of the points that you made then and, and made today in your testimony is that stopping the production here in the U.S. doesn't make the shore safer by increasing um, the imports The imports right. and using the tankers. You've actually increased the risk of oil spilling. Of near the shore oil spills in particular, okay. yes. Is there any other point about mm -hmm. your testimony? I know we always keep a strict five-minute rule. Any other point you wanted to make today uh, on the impact of on jobs or pricing in the future? Well, certainly, uh, one only has to look at recent hurricane uh, interruptions in production between 2004 and 2008 to see the uh, rapid and significant price increase that occurs when uh, oil is curtailed, oil production is cur curtailed in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. And Thank so I think it's a fairly rapid response. Great. Thank you, Dr. Warden. Thanks for traveling.